Majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at the Darkshore coast, beached there until they die. Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There is a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by the foul gray mist murlocs. Could you go there and retrieve bones from the creature for our study? As I had feared, the cure does not work. It saddens me greatly to order the death of any of nature's beasts, but the sick and tainted thistle bears must be put down. Return to the forest and destroy twenty rabid thistle bears, adventurer. It will most certainly not put a stop to the plague, but it will slow down the damage the animals are doing to our forest and its inhabitants for a short time. I am devising a potion that requires rare mushrooms, mushrooms that grow only in a certain cave. The cave lies behind Cliff Spring Falls to the east and slightly north along the mountains. I would go there myself, but I was advised by the Grove of the Ancients to stay away from that place. Our venerable allies sense that the cave is the hiding place for a new evil in Darkshore. Please, adventurer, gather the mushrooms for me. And while doing so, scout the cave to confirm the ancient's fears. Off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Veil. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted Murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Oberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out that night and their logs and other effects are still below in lock I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew members still around these parts. I love crab. Crabs are the fruit of the sea. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it and broil it. They're pan fried, deep fried and stir fried. There's crab salad, crab soup, crab stew, pepper crab, lemon crab, whipper root crab and iron forge surprise crab. That's... That's about it. I'm here fishing right now, so I can't get any fine crab chops. You can pick them out of reef crawlers and encrusted tide crawlers. You can make a lot with it. You can bake it, barbecue it, boil it. We've learned that a source of furball corruption is from the satyr. They hold sway via talismans that they channel magic through. If the furbog have a chance at salvation, we must lure out the satyr corruptor and take that talisman. Fill this bowl at our moon well and take samples of the Furbog's food from their northern camp. Mix them and place it near the bonfire by the river. Any Furbogs who eat will be cleansed just long enough to lure out the Satyr Corrupter. Who then you must slay. A group of warlocks has taken up residence around and inside the tower. I would have returned to Aberdeen to report to Alyssa earlier. But I was afraid that I might miss something while I was away. Delgrand suspected such a company might be gathering at the tower, but did not know why. A few scraps of parchment that the warlocks carry have found their way to my hands. But I need more to complete the puzzle. I warn you not to venture into the tower, however. The warlocks there are much more powerful. What an honor it was when Master Grey Whisker assigned me to work under the guidance of the great prospector Rem Travels. At the Academy in Ironforge, everyone knew of Rem Travel's great discoveries, but the Prospector is rather, um, oblivious to his surroundings. We had uncovered evidence of a great society. Horrible golems sprang forth from the ground and overran the site. Rem Travel never seemed to notice. I ran back to Oberdeen for help. Please travel south and see if the Prospector is okay. Adventurer, your skills have already helped me in my endeavor. Could I impose on you again to help Grimclaw and his master Volcor? In addition, I can craft you a magical cloak that will allow you to walk unhindered by Darkshore's creatures while you look for him. To create the cloak, I'll need five fine Moonstalker pelts from a Moonstalker sire or matriarch to have enough material. The cats can be found near Wild Bend River to the south or even farther south near Ashenvale. If you had enough time to run messages for the Oracle Tree, then I'm sure that I can press you into service to deliver a message to the Grove of the Ancients in Darkshore, due south of Aberdeen. 
you will most likely have to secure transport on a hippogriff. But I have faith enough in you that you can manage that. Take this to Onu, the Ancient of Lore. He has been awaiting word from me, even as I waited for news from the Oracle Glade. The Silverwing Sentinels are at war with the Warsong Outriders due to the destruction the Orcs are causing to the forest. There are, however, more reasons to defend this particular forest than plain love for nature. The forest forms a strategic barrier that makes Ashenvale defendable against a large-scale attack. Without it, Astronar would last a day or two before being annexed to the Barons. Do your part in fighting the Warsong Outriders, adventurer. For the Alliance. You're now ready to learn about poison and the power we as druids have over it, adventurer. Cenarius has blessed us with the ability to purge even the most foul of poisons with but a mere incantation. This gift is not to be taken lightly. And to ensure you learn this lesson, you'll work to address the effects of poisonings as a layman would. Travel to Moonglade and speak with Dendrite Starblaze. He awaits your arrival to begin your lesson. You have done Oberdeen a great service, adventurer, but your task is not yet complete. Return to me once you have rested, and adventurer, prepare your mind and soul for more bloodshed. The survival of our people and lands comes at unfortunate costs, adventurer. You have spilled the blood of nature's servants. Many sick animals you have felled. The people of Oberdeen are indebted to you, for the forest's pain is eased, even if only for a moment. I have one final task for you, but be warned, you will have to kill again. It is my hope that this will be the last time I call upon you, adventurer. In a cave to the northeast near Bashalaran resides the Den Mother. Slay her. How may I help? Goddess, watch your room. The Hippogriff is a noble beast, proud and swift. They are an honor to train and can quickly take their rider a great distance.
Greetings. <laughs>
How may I help? Adventurer, I have been following your progress with much delight. You are most assuredly developing yourself into a valued protector of nature. The time has come for you to learn more about one of the various animal aspects that Cenarius has blessed us with the ability to change into. One that affords you command and mastery of the water. For this, you must travel to the village of Nighthaven in Moonglade and speak with Dendrite Starblades of the Cenarian Circle there. He will guide you further. Welcome, my brother. If you are here to train, then I would be delighted to train you. There are rumors of strife within the Cenarian Circle, but you should pay such loose talk no heed. Our Archdruid, Fandral Staghelm, leads us and all of Teldrassil to glory. Goddess, watch over you. Good luck. To maintain our link to the mainland, we have hippogriffs constantly flying between Rutheran village and Darkshore.
ratings. Majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at the Darkshore coastline, beached there until they die. Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There is a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by the foul gray mist murlocs. Could you go there and retrieve bones from the creature for our study? Off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Vale. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted Murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Oberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out that night, and their logs and other effects are still below in lockboxes. I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew members still around these parts. I am devising a potion that requires rare mushrooms. Mushrooms that grow only in a certain cave. The cave lies behind Cliff Spring Falls, to the east and slightly north along the mountains. I would go there myself, but I was advised by the Grove of the Ancients to stay away from that place. Our venerable allies sense that the cave is the hiding place for a new evil.